Wanna see how we die? Then kill a dog and come back to destroy our enemies all because of two tiny mistakes? Watch until the end to find out. Here we go. I'm still bloodless. Ooh, I'm gonna take that. We've got some stuff. Three potatoes. One potato, two potato. Ooh, gold. Who is this? Mira. I told them to run, the idiots. You better turn north here, or you'll end up like them. Who is them? Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Hmm. I thought you were busy leading your crew. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. What was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that will pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Let's say I want that gold. Where would I find the relic? It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back if you feel like dying. I hear the druid's letter went leader went with you. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that Night Song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught him to. The old codger didn't. And you just left him to die? Yeah. And I'd do the same again. It weren't my responsibility. If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely, and maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. Okay, so we've got a few choices. We can either go down here, there's uh, a guy died here, and we can talk to the dog and then get a dog, or we can go through here and fight, or we can go down here where are we gonna go if we want to go to the goblins i think the goblin camp is, i think it's down there i can't remember yeah we're definitely not going through there i suppose we can go through here because i want to talk to the dog keep moving stranger quietly what happened here i told, I told you, you to go. go i'm not an enemy i promise Please, 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 I don't want to fight the dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's already high. Please. Shit. These worlds crawl with monsters. You could be one of them. Perception. Okay, thank goodness. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. You're Scratch, aren't you? Come here, it's alright. You know right. my name? Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. It's noble to protect one of your clan, but he's gone. He's not my clan. He's my friend. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange. Rotten. Evil. You know the creatures he describes. Gnomes. Come on, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If it doesn't wake up, follow my scent, I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Hello. <sighs> Are you all right? Me. Never been better. Oh, me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. First, I'd like to know how you controlled those flames. Nice of you to ask. Lately, I've gotten used to being called Devil. No follow-up questions. The truth is, well, it's a long story, and I'll tell it, but... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? It's the tadpole in our heads. It connects us. Sake. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak, and you are... I'm Balasar. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get out of there. Took me 10 years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down, but believe me when I tell you I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Sure. 
Yes. They cornered me outside the toll house, just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. No room in your party. What should I do? Meet me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me, got it? Okay. Good morning. How do you feel? My neck hurts. How do you think I feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger but few of their power. Any other drawbacks I should know about? I have no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders until the crash when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. What's causing this? The Mind Flayer Parasite? That's my theory. But who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks, although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Gith Yankee. I trust him, he won't hurt us. Do I really trust him? Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowl. There now, we're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Karlax got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Okay, everyone's got their own fears. I really? Judge yours. Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Uh, we have to rely on each other. Easier if we know each other as well. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Maybe I'd like to get to know you better. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. <laughs> if that's what you prefer, I can respect that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Okay. We should journey separately for now. I'll look for you here if I need you again. If you're sure. I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Arlac, I hope you're strong because I'm giving up my cleric for you. Yeah? F yes. I like your attitude. <laughs> She's a barbarian. She's Keep a that beast away from us, you hear? Me, the beast. Now that's f rich. Language. Hey, I want to talk to you. Fuck, beast, fuck. There's going to be a fight in there. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us, please. We just want to go home. Probe is mine. Let's go. Yes! The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. We're gonna fight. You can drop the act. I know you're servants of Azaria. Zari? Certainly not. We serve Tyr, Lord of Justice, and no other. Please, mercy. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames, you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us. And we'll leave you. Enough of the charade. I know who you really are. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces of needs must. And you. You'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. Okay. Oh. Ah. I'm dead. I have this review. Shit! Your party has been defeated. Huh? Holy crap! Oh no. Okay, we just did all of that for nothing. That's enough! We had to kill the dog. 
Ah, crap. We're gonna fight again. The creature's eyes roll back in its head. Equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come see! My flesh becomes new flesh! You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. We're gonna fight. The hyena moans softly as its body contorts. Ribs cracking and flesh tearing. Bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out, forming a vessel for something new. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. We're gonna fight. Okay. We're definitely gonna attack you. Miss! Yes! Action surge! Dead magic thing though. That will be we'll do one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, we did it. I think we should do a long rest here because, uh, yeah, we need the help. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil, the most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned teeth. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here, she must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tear where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice. Blessed by Tear. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have. But it's yours. If you stop her, bring me her head. And Tear will consider her crimes repaid. I'll think about May it. May the just God guide you. We got a sword, right? Should we fight with, with them? Hmm. Or should we fight Karlak? Let's go get Karlak then. We did we did the the other way around, and now we're doing it this way. <laughs> She's uh, perhaps a little rough around the edges, but I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. <laughs> Gail! <laughs> yeah. Holy water. Nothing happened. Oh shit. Level two. Please do not miss. Yes. Please, 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 please. I'll let repeat. Uh, oh shit. Dead. You wound. Really? He's dead. He's dead? Okay, wait, wait. Shit, 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 shit. Shadow oh, horse, you are gonna bring back Gale. Take you. Please do not shoot me again. Please do not shoot me Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, bonus action. I'm gonna drink one of those. And then I'm going to level two. We're gonna kill this. Can we get the other one? No? Can we get her? No. Okay, she is not dead. Oh, shit. Miss, miss. Old person. I'll just blast. Missed. Okay, she's dead. I'll just blast. Did I hit the door? Great. We are going to bring you back critical miss 
Carlac is dead. Fire breath. Magic missile. Okay. Carlac, sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Wait. Doesn't she have a scroll? She should have a scroll. Yes! Holy crap! How lucky are we? Best be on my way. won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, oh, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Easy, Karlak. Those flames are getting big. Not big enough. Now get out before you get hurt. Now! I brought you back! End of the day. Yes. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good after the Mind Flare ship. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Carla, Advocatus Diaboli, the stink of Avernus. I remember you from the goblin fight at the Grove. What do you want? The devil's head and yours. If you so much as... <laughs> A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. He chases the fiend, ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Your allies are fraud, a soldier in the archdevil Zariel's army. Either I cut her down, or she burns the Sword Coast to ash. I've tried to tell you. I am not what you think I am. I am... Uh -huh. Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. The man shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldrin's hell, my... No! I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Stand down, you saw what I saw. Karlak is not a danger. The man catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No, devils cannot be trusted. Gods, you're stubborn. Karlak, Karlak's not a devil and you know it. Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. You see, I'm not what you think. <sighs> Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've, I've been deceived. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Thank the gods. Thought I was going to have to take your head. You would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce? I'll do you one better. Allies. We're looking to get rid of these parasites for good and ruin some bastard's days while we're at it. Sounds like your kind of venture. I've not grown any tentacles yet, thank Baldron. But luck won't be on our side forever. Yes, you have my blade. Your leader willing, of course. Well, soldier, what's the word? The more the merrier, as they say. Sorry, but there's no room for me. You should remain here for the time being. Hey! Well met, and a thousand sorries. I've pledged my life to protecting the meek from monsters. But tonight, I was the rampaging beast. I see the good in you, Carla. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. Hm, the famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade, name strangers gave me. My friends... Call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Okay, a lot of people to talk to. Will, I need to talk to Will and Carlax to do that. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. It takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Carlac. I'm glad he's joined us too. Glad you two could make it. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or I will have Sue. Anyway. Okay. Will, let's hmm. talk to you. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on Carlac's tail. I'd like to know who. I can say only this. Carlac's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted and I'll pay my penance. Penance? 
Should I be worried? You're not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about me. Okay. Let's sleep. I'll give it a shot. I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have. And then also, if you'd like to grow your YouTube channel, be sure to check out vidIQ for the best results ever. I have to add the fact that if you do buy a subscription through them, I may get a small commission at no extra cost to you. So if you have a channel, want to grow it faster, and you don't really know what's going on, try vidIQ. Link is in the description. That being said, please consider joining the channel by clicking the join button. If there is no join button, you can find both the links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. Also, if you want to check out some of our other playlists, those playlists will also be linked in the description. And you can also wait at the end of this video to see which video you should watch. Maybe the top one or the bottom one. You can choose. So with that being said, I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their name in the credit roll. If you want your name in the credit roll, be sure to become a member. So credit roll in three, two, one, go. Alrighty then. So again, if you want to see some of the other content or videos that I have, click on one of these uh, that you see on your screen right now. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.